it's december 8th which is literally so bonkers because where did the last half of this year go i swear like from september to now i was on autopilot mode i have no idea where the time went but if you didn't know winter is my favorite time of year but take that lightly i'm a florida girl that doesn't experience real seasons so like my winter is like 50 degrees it's finally a little bit chilly outside and i need to shoot some content for jerf avenue because what is my life? They sent me a few pieces and I'm gonna take pictures in them and I'm so excited. So I'm meeting up with Kayla and Gail, my besties. We're gonna take pictures, but that's my plans for today. This whole month is super busy. I felt like now that school was over, I could finally devote all my time to my YouTube, but it's crazy that finals just passed because there's always this like looming sense of like you have an assignment due, even though the semester's over. Anyway, that's all. I bought books. It took me so long to decide what I wanted because they had the original Magnolia Parks cover, but the spine was cracked. And I was like, I'm just gonna order the original ones from Waterstones. I did find the first three books in the Addicted series and I'm so excited to read them. So that's my little book haul. I need to stop buying books. It's becoming a problem. Hey Google, play Fruitcake by Sabrina Carpenter. I just realized I have to flip out this entire tree. I thought it was going to be easier, but it wasn't. <laughs> You guys, I'm the worst confirmed because I went through so many days this last week, like, full intentions that I was gonna film, and then I looked back and I filmed like three clips. Here's just a little bit of an update of what I've been doing these past few days. Yesterday, I went to see The Nutcracker with my mom, and it reminds me so much of being a kid because when I was like five, we used to go every year to watch the ballet. So this is my first time seeing it in such a long time, and I had so much fun. I bought this like cute pink snow globe, and it spins and plays a song. So it was like healing my inner child in a way. And then we got fondue for dinner, which was so good. My mom is like my best friend, so that was a lot of fun. Today, I'm having a Taylor Swift Eras tour party because the movie is now on streaming. I made little food puns, let me show you. So we're making a charcuterie board. So I have a lot of like meat jokes. So I have one that says, I was enchanted to meet you. And then we're doing pigs in a blanket. So pigs in a blanket space. Mildest dreams, cause we're having chips and salsa. Death by a thousand cups. Another meet me at midnight. We are never getting back to cheddar. I don't know, just a ton of random food jokes that I found on TikTok. And I'm so excited cause all of my cousins are coming over and we're having a fun little Taylor Swift party. So that's what I'm getting ready for now. It's just a little bit of an update of what my last few days have been because I'm the worst and forgot to vlog it. I 
redid my bookshelf and then found out that I had no space because I made the top one like all cute and aesthetic and then realized I had no space for my other books so I had to rearrange it again I never showed you what it looked like after but before I give you a tour of my bookshelf I'm gonna tell you what I'm reading currently yesterday I went to Barnes and I got Swear on this life I stayed up all night yesterday I read from like 7 to 12 and I finished this in one sitting I think I ended up giving it four stars basically this girl finds out that her childhood best friend wrote a book about her from her perspective which she hasn't seen him in 12 years but there's something about like childhood best friends to lovers that will always do it for me so this was obviously good if you know me you know I went through a whole Akatar phase this summer I'm on the last book I'm reading A Court of Silver Flames I'm like 200 pages in I don't know if this is just me but there's something about third person that just doesn't hit like I love Cassian but why is it in third person like give me first person I'm liking it so far I wish it was first person like I would take it from a four to a five so fast if it was first person now it's time for the bookshelf tour it's color coded like it was before but what I did was I removed all the books I haven't read yet so this is all color coded I also have these little Funko pops that go with each of the colors so then down here I have the rest of my color coded books and then below that I have my series shelf other than the naturals which just fit right in the color coded area I have all my series which I anticipate this having to be like two rows deep I just bought a few of the throne of glass books and then I'm also getting Harry Potter for Christmas because I picked it out and my mom got it for me so I have like Carval back there the inheritance games this bottom row is all the books I haven't read yet so this is my physical TBR which seeing them all like this makes me realize how many books that I've bought and haven't read yet anyway that's my new bookshelf setup I feel like I'm never gonna be happy with the way it looks just because I have so many books but I want to do a reading vlog soon maybe that will be my next video I was gonna do like a Sarah J Mass themed one but we'll see how I'm feeling because I need to read Crescent City 2 before Crescent City 3 comes out in January Thank <laughs> you. 